Hey guys, welcome to my channel and another fig growing video. You know, after so many years of growing figs and many YouTube videos, a common question I get asked very often is, how long before my fig tree produces figs? Or why isn't my fig tree producing figs? And even why is my fig tree only producing a small amount of figs? So I decided to make this video to share with you the top 10 reasons why you're not getting fig production on your fig tree. You know, as beautiful as some fig trees can be and how nice the leaves can look, nobody out there that I know of is growing fig trees for their foliage. Before we get started, I just want to say that if you're enjoying these videos and are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of any future videos. Also, please share with anybody you know who may be interested in figs and fig growing. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. My videos offer a unique perspective on fig growing because I'm in a very cold climate in Canada, Zone 5. I have many followers from all over Canada and the northern United States and even many other parts of the United States and the world. Also, don't forget to check out the description where I'll leave Amazon links to all the products I use in my day-to-day -day gardening of these beautiful trees. Okay, so let's get started. Number one, the reason why you're not getting figs is because your tree is too young. And I always get asked, okay, how long do I have to wait? Well, that really depends on the variety of the fig tree that you have. As a general rule, I would say that a cutting that's newly started wouldn't produce in its first year and may give you a fig or two in the second year. And by the time year three rolls around, you should be starting to get a decent amount of figs depending on the variety. However, as a general rule, five years of having a fig tree, would it be considered an adult? And that's generally when your fig tree would be producing the amount of figs that it's capable of, depending on many other conditions. Okay, so if you're starting a fig tree from a cutting, number two, I'm going to say is the health of the cutting and the health of the mother tree that it came from. So if you look at any one of your trees, you'll notice many branches. And you'll notice that some of your branches are healthier, growing better, and even putting out more figs than some of the other branches on the tree. If you were fortunate enough to get a cutting from a healthy branch of a healthy tree, then your chances of producing figs sooner and getting a better tree overall are so much better. This is where I say be careful where you're getting your cuttings or even your trees from. A healthy cutting or a tree can go a long way and produce a lot better than some of the others. Okay, number three is kind of the opposite uh, for an older fig tree that isn't producing the amount of figs that you'd like it to produce, could be that it's root bound. If your tree has been in the same pot for many years, you would probably need to do some root pruning. It could be that the roots have just gotten way too big for the pot that it's in. And if you intend on keeping it in that same pot, you need to do some root pruning during the winter, okay, when your fig tree is dormant. Uh, or what you can do is you can put it in a bigger pot. And generally that can be done uh, anytime during the season uh, using the right precautions. Number four is your tree even a young, newly started cutting has just too many branches growing out of it. And your tree is busy uh, keeping up with the health of the branches 
that it has as opposed to worrying about uh, or having enough energy to put out some figs. So make sure that the amount of branches that you have in your tree is relative to its age and more importantly the pot that it's sitting in or the pot size that it's sitting in. Okay, the next one is your uh, fig tree does not have enough nutrients. Uh, your tree needs nutrients. It needs plant food or fertilizer, just like any other living being. Okay, I've, I've said this many times before. Many people buy plants and they just keep watering them and watering them. And then they start asking themselves, why is my tree not doing good? You, you got to feed your tree. Okay, uh, just like any living being, we can't live on water alone. We need food and your fig tree is no exception. The next one is too much nutrients. Okay, some people uh, go crazy and, and put too much uh, fertilizer or plant food and especially the uh, non-organic ones, they can actually uh, hurt your tree if there's too many of them. It'll, it'll burn it, it'll hinder growth, it'll hinder uh, production. So be careful with putting too much. You have to know the right amount. Okay, the next one uh, is also dealing with nutrients and that's using the wrong kind of nutrients, okay? So a lot of uh, nutrients out there uh, greatly emphasize the nitrogen, okay? So if you look at any uh, plant food or fertilizer, you'll see three numbers on there, NPK. Uh, the first one is nitrogen, something like a miracle Grow all purpose will have a very high uh, percentage of nitrogen in there. And nitrogen is fantastic for growing uh, branches and leaves and uh, it's what you would use maybe if you're growing lettuce or, or something you're very interested in leaves. But for your fig tree, um, I pretty much use this fertilizer only in the first uh, maybe month of the growing season just to get the fig tree started. And then uh, you really want to move to a fertilizer that is uh, more on the pea side, which is the potassium. And that potassium is responsible for uh, putting out fruit. So that's why we're growing our fig tree. So using a, a, a proper uh, fertilizer or plant food for your fig tree is key. Uh, something I also like to do is add some bone meal uh, halfway through the summer. It really helps uh, that fruit in uh, developing. Okay, number eight is uh, your weather conditions. Uh, too hot, this one doesn't really happen for me, or, or too cold. Okay, uh, you know, my pots uh, are generally black in color. And the reason for that is black uh, attracts heat. And I need as much heat as I can get uh, for my fig trees to help them produce uh, especially in the beginning of the season. And even some of our nights here are, are not very warm and, and in uh, places where the weather is too hot has the opposite effect. Uh, figs as well, they, they like it hot, but you want to make sure that uh, your pot isn't too hot. Otherwise, you'll, you'll cook your roots. Uh, maybe if I lived in a place like Arizona, I'd want to go with a white pot so it doesn't... Uh, attract too much heat on the pot. All right, uh, number nine is too much water. So figs uh, generally don't like it too wet, okay? Too much water can cause root rot and hinder your fig production. Uh, many growers like to add holes in the bottom of their pots. I have it in a lot of my pots too. Uh, that gets the excess water out and uh, also, too much water uh, will remove the nutrients from your planting medium. All your nutrients will come out with the water. So be careful about too much water, okay? And then uh, finally, number 10 is the opposite of uh, too much water, and it's too little water, okay? Uh, 
Again, figs don't like it too wet, but watch out for those extra sunny days and hot days where your pot can dry out due to the fig tree sucking up all the moisture in your planting medium. Okay, generally, depending on the variety, uh, I mentioned that figs don't like it too wet, but if you leave your fig tree to dry up, uh, that's going to spell bad news for you. Leaves are going to start falling and your uh, fruit production is not going to be any good. So uh, that's all uh, I have to say about that. Can't wait for the weather to get better and uh, get my fig trees going. Happy gardening, everybody. We'll see you next time.